back to another episode of Conversations That Lead to Greatness. Now, today's topic, we're talking about what is it like to truly walk in the kingdom. Now, I'm not talking about the religious aspect of, you know, trusting in God and walking out, you know, his purpose, but actually having a relationship with God and walking in your purpose. Okay, guys, so stick around. This is Conversations That Lead to Greatness. My name is Akisha Smith. And I'm Lester Smith. And we are committed to helping you tap into your greatness by uploading great episodes on a weekly basis that will educate, motivate, and inspire you to create the life you desire. Okay? Now, today, we're talking about what it's like to walk in the kingdom. Now, what kingdom, you might ask? The kingdom of God. Okay? So, we're been, we have been walking in the kingdom, like, wholeheartedly for the past, what, how long we want to say? Um... Last couple of months. Yeah, like wholeheartedly, <laughs> like literally just, and what I mean wholeheartedly, yeah. meaning fully surrendering, fully um, yielding our life to God mm -hmm. as the head. And then he's giving us rulership over the assignment that he put us on here, you know, on earth to do. Mm -hmm. So um, that's why we want to come and share it because you see the glamorized part of walking in the kingdom. Oh, you get, um, you know, favor and grace and mercy and you get these you know, gifts and money and, you know, all the worldly things that also come too. But I, I wanted to come and show the realness of it because mm -hmm. it's not an easy thing to do. Exactly. It is, it's real life hard, but you're going to have hard life anyway. So choose your heart. Just saying. Mm -hmm. So you want to go first? Yeah. I wanted to say, uh, before we get started, like, share, and subscribe. Mm. Go ahead on and start liking right now. Just, just jump down and just, just like. Just hit the thumbs up button. Yeah, That's the like button. Yeah, just the thumbs up. <laughs> That's the life. Yeah, jump down in and, 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 and like this video before we even get started. We're going to give y'all some good knowledge. It's, you know what I'm saying? Listen. So it's, it's, it's worth it. It's worth it. it. It's worth just to like, even to share. You yeah. Know, it don't cost you nothing to like and share. But anyway, um, walking in the kingdom. Kingdom living. Ah, it's, it's, it's deep. It's deep. I'm going to say that. I'm going to start with that. I'm going to start with that. Kingdom living. I've, I've did it both ways. I have did it walking in the world. And I did. I'm doing it now, walking in the kingdom, and it's much better. It's it's a you get a sense of peace, mm -hmm. a sense of peace when you're walking in the kingdom. And what do I mean by peace? A sense of peace. You 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 get uh, an understanding that your your bills gonna be paid regardless if you're making money or not. Um, you you. You're you're uh, you're of the world. I mean, you're in the world, but you're not of the world. Mm -hmm. Can I say that? And what do I mean when I say that? With all the the negativity and everything that's going on around us on a daily basis, as you keep saying to yourself, "I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me," that that gives you a sense of peace right there, <clears> because <throat> there's so many things that are going on in this world that are negative today. Yeah. Yeah, and. It just, just, just that alone. Yeah. And, yeah, and then you realize that you're not doing it in your own strength. Exactly. It's almost like giving yourself a break. Mm -hmm. It's almost like you know you giving your you cutting yourself off the hook because <clears throat> as human we are used to doing everything for ourselves. Mm -hmm. No depend on nobody. Exactly. Show up for yourself day in and day out. But there are times when you can't show up for yourself, let alone someone else. Mm -hmm. And that's when the strength of God comes. Mm -hmm. Like, that's one thing I realized, like, when, you know, we have all these popular Bible verses that we will quote and say. And, you know, now is when I realized the true definition of those um, popular scriptures. And one of them was when you are weak, like, when I am weak, you know, he is made strong. Like, he gives me strength when I'm weak. And... It's almost like when I don't want to show up, when I don't want to, you know, want to depression, want to creep in and that old mindset and I just want to be closed up to the world. I get up every day knowing that when I'm feeling like this, all I got to say is, God, you take the wheel. Mm -hmm. I can't do it in my own strength. God, I'm surrendering my life to you. Mm -hmm. Now, you said if I do this, you would do that. Mm -hmm. So it's almost like I'm, I'm cutting myself loose from having to depend on my own self because there's nothing good can come from me. Me, me right now, who I am, even this flesh of mine, is filthy. Yeah. I have filthy thoughts. Mm -hmm. I have bad thoughts on a daily yeah. basis. Yeah. It's, it's nothing good can come from it. The flesh is weak. Yeah, but when you realize when you're living in the kingdom, you're, you're looking at everything spiritually. You're not looking from your corner eyes. 
You're looking at every single aspect of your walk in life, the people you encounter, the decisions you make. It's all spiritual. Yeah. That's the only way you can truly mm -hmm. live in the kingdom yeah. and live it out. Now, you got to kill your flesh. You got to kill it's, it. It's, it's, the Bible says, be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. What is the renewing of your mind? The renewing of your mind is, 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 is basically killing your flesh. Mm -hmm. You're dying out, dying out in the flesh and, and living and walking in the spirit. You're gaining knowledge. Yeah, you're gaining knowledge about uh, the way God wants us to live and whatnot. And, you know, recently I stopped drinking. Mm -hmm. Yeah, recently, you know. Uh, oh, that's nice to share. Uh, November, November 4th, 4, 2023, I, I stopped drinking. Um, and why did I stop drinking? Uh, and, and, uh, let me say this before before I tell yes. you. Yes. Because I, I don't want you guys to say yeah. that, you know, oh, I mean, he's he saying I need to stop drinking. No, I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is um, drinking is not a sin. Mm -mm. Drinking is not a sin. You know, even Jesus turned water to wine in the Bible. But me, as the, <clears> the way I am and who I am, is when I start, when I start drinking, I don't stop. I just keep going and going and going. And, you know, it's okay to, if you can have a drink or two and just, you know, just chill. You know, I can't do that. It's, it's, and it's hard. It's hard. It's, that, that was a hard thing for me to, mm -hmm. to, 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 admit, to, to. to admit to it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And as I admitted to it, it, it gave me a sense of peace. Ooh, freedom. Oh, man, freedom. Freedom. So, and I'm not saying, I'm not, now if you're a person that can, that can have you one drink or two drinks, you know, kind of chill, you know, and, and just, you know. You know, just relieve your mind. That's not me, though. That's not, I couldn't do it. I mm -hmm. couldn't do it. And I had to, to sit down and have a conversation with God and talk to myself and say, hey, man. And, and, you know, a Bible verse came up. I can't remember the exact verse. But it says, even though you're doing these things, it's not beneficial. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> so uh, is, it, is it benefiting you in any kind of way? And, and, what, and what I said to myself, drinking ain't benefiting me in no kind of way. It ain't benefiting me in no kind of way. It actually, it helps me run from something when I should be running to something. Ooh, boy. I should be running to that thing to, to fix that thing, but I'm running from it by taking a drink. And, 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 yeah. <laughs> and as I sat back and I thought about that, I'm like, man, and if that's you, that's you. you if you're one of the, the people that that when you drink, you just can't stop. You just got to keep going and go get up. Let me say this. When you have a drink, you know, after after a few minutes or after maybe or 30 minutes or so, the buzz comes down. So what you got to do? You got to have another drink to, to keep the buzz going. You know what I'm saying? And if that's you, and you just got to keep drinking to keep drinking, I, I, I would say you might need to stop. Because the Bible says don't drink to get drunk. Mm -hmm. It does say that. Drunkenness. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. And this is thing this is another thing why, you know, it's important to live out in king in kingdom and mm -hmm. truly seek the kingdom. Yeah. Because without that revelation and without you admitting to yourself like this is what this is is, this yeah. is you know, this is man. It's hard to admit your fault. It's hard to admit something is wrong with you mm -hmm. to yourself, mm -hmm. let alone to someone else, whoever watching this video. Mm -hmm. But what I realized is a lot of people like that was your conviction. Mm -hmm. That was something God had you not to do because he knew your purpose. Mm -hmm. He knew who, he knew the assignment you had to rule over, yeah. right? So another person might can. Yeah. So when you're walking in the kingdom, you understand that you can't do certain things. Mm -hmm. It's not that this is a sin, yeah. but it's because of your assignment. You can't hang with certain people. Mm -hmm. You can't entertain. You can't watch. You have to guard your heart and your ears and your eyes. You have to be almost like isolated to a degree to from certain people mm -hmm. because of your assignment yeah. and that is another thing about walking in the kingdom a lot of people don't understand that this walk alone yes it could be lonely but guess what you have people in this world with people around them surrounding them and they're still lonely yeah. so what you rather have you rather have the peace of god yeah then you surround it you know with god peace or to be surrounded with a room full of people and you still feel lonely mm -hmm. still feel empty yeah. so it's like you know, that conviction in you is all, man, I couldn't do this. Yeah. Like, I can't, like, I can drink. I never got that conviction. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I can't be like, he can't be like, well, I can't do it. No, you can't do it. No, God didn't tell me that. Mm -hmm. He told you that. Exactly. So what might work for you or what you can't do, mm -hmm. I can do it. It's yeah. not my conviction. Yeah. But just getting that full understanding mm -hmm. 
that's how you realize like this is a relationship because God is able to free you. Yeah. God is able to talk to you and you're not, he's not just talking to you. You're listening mm. and you're doing, you governing your life according to what he's telling you. Yeah. Even though you might think something else, you know, no, nah, this ain't what it is. No, if God said it, obviously that's what it is. Mm -hmm. So let me run and govern my life according to what he says. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, yeah, laying down your will and for him. Let me say this. When, when you surrender your life to God mm -hmm. and say, hey, God, I'm surrendering my life to you. And, and, and he say, hey, God told me, basically, he say, hey, I'm trying to take you somewhere. I'm trying to take you somewhere. And uh, that drink ain't going to get it. You, know, mm -hmm. you got to stop drinking. Sober minded. I need you to be sober minded because this place that, I, that I'm trying to take you, I need you to be sober minded. Mm -hmm. And when he said that, I'm like, <laughs> but God, you didn't God, think it was bad though, God, right? God for real? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You're like, is it that bad? Like, and, and you know, you know, I just let me let me sit here and meditate on that for a few seconds. <laughs> I, I don't need you to say that. Don't say that. Mm -hmm. I just want to think about that for a minute. Yeah. Okay. When he took, when he said that, I was like, man, God, is it that bad? Is it that bad? Well, I need to, I need to completely give it up. He said, well, you don't know how to stop. So I need you to go ahead and give it up completely. And as he, as he said that, I was like, God, not. Nah. And the crazy part about it, he told me this before. He told me, he told me this several times, you know, but I ignored him. And let me, let me say this to you. After you have one drink, you can still kind of hear what God's saying to you. After you have two drinks, you can, eh, and you might not hear him at all. <laughs> By the time the third drink comes, I can't, I can't hear God at all. I need to be able to hear God at all times. God might tell me, hey, I need you to talk to that young man right there. And if I'm drinking, I can't, I can't hear God tell me that I need, he needs me to talk to that young man right there. You say, that young man right there going through some things. I need you to talk to him. Mm -hmm. But if I if I if I got that drink in me, I can't hear him. I can't hear him. So I said that to say this. If that's you, then you know you might have to give it up. You know. But if you're a person like like she is, well, you can have one drink, you know, and, and, and be cool, or two drinks and be cool. Then that's cool. You know. But that was my conviction. That yeah. was my conviction. I had you know. And as I as I got that conviction, I came to her. I told her, I'm like, hey, babe, you know, go. I think God want me to get that drink up. And she said, you know, I was already praying about that. You know what I'm saying? So, and then it was on a Sunday morning. And then the next, uh, when we went to church, the pastor was preaching about me giving the drink up. <laughs> you know, so it's like, it's like. Confirmation. God already told me that you need to give it up. And she prayed about it. And she said, well, I, I was already, that was already there. And then the pastor came and preached about it. Confirmation. Basically, that's all, that's all it was, a confirmation. And when you're walking in the kingdom, you surrender your life to God completely. You All you want to do is please God. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's all you want to do. Please God. Uh, and a lot of times you got to get out of your flesh. You got to get, get out of your flesh to please God. Because a lot of things that, 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 that pleases our flesh... It don't please God. Uh, yes, everything that pleases the flesh. Don't <laughs> everything ain't a lot. Well, Every single thing, no good thing can come from from the flesh. The flesh. God yeah. said, "Ain't nothing good." Yeah, that's true. And that's yeah. why, and that's why in the Bible we say your works, even your best, is yeah. filthy rags. Yeah. Your works, what you think you're doing from your heart, you might think you're doing in pure intention, but God knows your heart. It's even that has ill will, mm -hmm. has ill intentions. Yeah. So it's almost like ain't no way you can get above being good in the flesh. Mm. It's no good. Yeah. Like when you realize that, it's almost like, let's talk about um, God no. Like God's no. That was, listen, when you living in the kingdom, you can hear from God, right? And it's very clear. Mm. <laughs> yeah. To the point you be like, man, come on, God, God, come on, like for real? Yeah. And it's crazy because his nose, it, it's different from when you in religion. Mm -hmm. You look at his nose as something like, oh, God don't want me to have fun. God is this and God is this God. But in the kingdom, like you, when you surrender your life, you look at his nose as redirection, mm -hmm. as not now. As in, no, this is not good for you as a warning sign. Like you look at his nose and you be like, oh, God say no with it. If, it, if God don't want me to have it, I'm not going to get it. I'm not going to even try to go after if God don't want me to have it. Mm -hmm. Like, you look at his nose as provision. Yeah. Like, it's different. 
Yeah. In the world, no, it's like she, I'm, you gonna tell me no or watch me do this. <laughs> Can't do that in the kingdom. Hey, let me say this too. It's different. I was in the gym uh, last week, a week before last, and and uh, um, God basically said somebody gonna walk up to you in the gym, and when they walk up to you, I need you to tell them this, mm. and I need you to tell them that they've been wanting to do this certain thing for a while. And they haven't been doing it because they're scared. And I need you to let them know that seek me first. Seek me first. Add, you know, come to me and talk to me. And, and go ahead on and do that thing that they've been, they, they've been scared to do. And I, and I, and I book on you not. <laughs> I'm sitting on the machine. <clears throat> and the brother came up and speak to me. It's a brother that, you know, we, we know. Me and, me, and, me and my wife know him. You know, you know one of the gym buddies. He he walked up to me. Hey brother, what's going on? I was saying, oh man. I, <laughs> you gotta do that. I, 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 let, I let him walk on too. I let him yeah. walk on. I, let, I say, God. <laughs> come on now. Come on now. I, I, don't, I don't want this man to feel like I'm some kind of religious, you know, person. Yeah. This, that, that, that. God, is this. He, he, God basically just said, man, tell that man what I told you to tell him. Yeah. That's that what he told me. And I, and I told that man that the man, the man almost broke down crying. Mm. He said, man, because that thing that. Man, I say, I don't know what that thing is. Exactly. But you don't God, have to know. But God told me to tell you that, you know, you need to do that. You need to go ahead on and, and jump out there and do that. Talk to him mm -hmm. first. Have a conversation with him. Pray about it. And then go to work. Mm -hmm. And that man, that man thanked me two or three times after that. He said, man, I appreciate you, man. You know what I'm saying? I know you don't know what that thing is, but. <laughs> uh, Thanks for your obedience, but, but, I've been, but I've been asking, you know, I've been thinking about doing this certain thing and, and I, I thank you for doing what God told you to do. Mm -hmm. Man, that was, that was, and, it, and I got chills right now mm -hmm. just thinking about, it, you know. And yeah. it's crazy because you seeking God on a daily basis, right? Yeah. Meaning right. you freeing yourself up to hear from him. Mm -hmm. You literally seeking, all right, God, you, what's going on? You ain't talked to me today. Yeah. Hello, I'm seeking you. Yeah. I'm worshiping you. I'm in your presence. I want to know what is my assignment. What do you have for me to do today? Mm -hmm. I lay down my will. What I thought I'm going to wake up and do today, if it ain't aligned with your will, bring your will along. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? So it's almost like you are you are the creator and you the director of my life. Mm -hmm. And what I'm doing today, and if I do do it, I know it's good because I'm doing your will. Yeah. And if it's something that the flesh feel uncomfortable, don't like, and you know what I'm saying, I know I'm on the right path, mm -hmm. basically. Yeah. Forgiveness. Talk yeah. about forgiveness in the kingdom. Oh, man. Listen. <laughs> Hey, look. I know you can go all the way in. No, I would not. Yeah, yeah. You, you all about healing and forgiveness and all that and all that intertwined together. But anyway, forgiveness. You have to forgive yourself first mm. on a daily basis. Forgive yourself. You, you did a lot. You're the only person that know everything you done done in your past. You're the only person that know that. My wife don't even know everything I done done in my past. Nope. But I know. So you have to forgive yourself first. Forgiveness. That's that the forgiveness is deep. Yeah. Say, hey man, I forgive you for that thing that you done or whatever and release that. And once you release it, you'll know you really truly forgave yourself because you'll feel it in your soul. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You uh, forgive your, your parents for what they done to you, even though they didn't know what they done to you. Your parents, your, mm -hmm. your sisters, your brother, you know, whoever. Whoever wronged you in the past, forgive them people and release them. Release them to God. Say, man, hey, they don't even have to know that, that, that you're forgiven them. You can write it down on a piece of paper. Write that on, down on a piece of paper. Say, hey, man, you wronged me in this way and this and, and that there. And you know what I'm saying? And ball it up. And say, I, I, I release this to God and throw it in the trash can. Uh -huh. You know, burn it up. You know, something like that. And as you do that, you're going you're gonna, you're gonna to feel a sense of peace come over you. And you'll be like, man. that Because I, I had to go. Let me tell you what I did. I had to go to my mom's grave site and release her. Because I was holding something in. That, you know, my mom, my mom was on drugs and she left me at an early age. She left me at 18 years old. I was grown, but that's still too oh, early yeah. to leave your child. You know what I'm saying? You know, I know people leave, you know, that's, I understand that. But I had to release her. I had to, I was holding some things in because she, because I felt like she wronged me as a child. You know what I'm saying? That she didn't love me like she, because my mom was always looking, looking for her next hit. And when you're looking for your next hit, you can't love a child the way they need to be loved. Mm -hmm. And... And I and I, I held that in for a long time, 
held that in for a long time, and I said, Mom, you wronged me. You wronged me, and I, and I have to forgive you. And I'm talking about when I forgave her, even though I was at the grave site, and nothing, nothing, nobody's at the grave site. Mm -hmm. Nobody's there. She's been, her spirit is gone. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, a casket might be there, but she ain't there. But it, it got, it, a sense of peace came over me. Mm -hmm. It came over me, and I was like, man, this is crazy. I had to release my dad, too. I had to release my dad, too. He passed on, too. I had to release both of them. But anyway. Yeah. yeah. And when we talk about forgiveness yeah. and in the kingdom, I mean, yes, living in the kingdom, mm -hmm. it's like you don't care why they did it, who did it, yeah. how. All you know is God want me to forgive. I'm going to forgive. Yeah. Because God is turning everything that's bad for your good. Exactly. Every single thing, like when you understand that all the bad that you came that came up against you, that you know the hand you was dealt, everything you thought was bad, evil, and this terrible thing, God will steal and has turned it for your good. Mm -hmm. He's a good God. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We're it's the situation or the circumstance is bad, but He's a good God. Mm -hmm. He's gonna turn it for your good. Yeah. So when you understand that, it's easy to forgive something or mm -hmm. forgive a person, and that's what I had to realize that. Everything I went through, friendships, relationships, and all, you know, being hurt by people and feeling like, oh, I'm going to hold on to this so I can remember that it would never happen again. Mm -hmm. I was doing that to be hurt myself. Exactly. Because God wanted to release me from that. Mm -hmm. But I had to take the hand. I had to grab his hand and say, okay, God, I'm going to take this forgiveness. Mm -hmm. You know, and I'm going to release it to them. Yeah. And give them grace. Mm -hmm. Because at the end of the day, I can't say, God, please give me grace and mercy and forgive me. But I'm holding this in my heart. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? So you're able to freely understand that even the bad things, even the things that try to kill, still destroy you. God will and did turn it for your good. Mm -hmm. So when you realize that it's easy to forgive now. Yeah. You, it's, I'm not worried about that. I forgave you. Yeah. I'm not holding against you. Exactly. You human. You flesh. Mm -hmm. We, I, y'all. Trust me, I'm quite sure I did or said something too that needs your forgiveness. Yeah. So I'm not holding that against you. Yeah. But yeah. And let me say this too. We go through things in life so that way we'll have a testimony. Mm. That that what I just told you guys, that's my testimony. Evidence that he that, is real. That, that's, that's evidence that God is real. You understand what I'm saying? Because that testimony that I gave, it might help somebody. Mm -hmm. It might help somebody. Even if it helped one person, God, <laughs> come on, man. Just think about that. It would help one person. I did my job. Mm -hmm. I did my job by, by releasing that testimony and doing what God called me to do. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. And before we close, I want to just talk about how, what is it like walking, like living to the point where we are now, like mm -hmm. the mind frame and the mindset of now versus before. Yeah. Um, how is that different and how is it good, bad, and how would you, you know, well, explain it? I, w I would say, uh, before, we was living in our flesh. And every day, <laughs> like, I, like, I, like we often said before, we don't know how we, how we, how we made it <laughs> in our marriage. We, we don't know. We've been married for 13 years, and about these last three years has been the best years of our marriage. Mm -hmm. So we don't know how we made it. It was nothing but God. It had to be nothing but God because we was walking in our flesh, any little thing that I say to her, it would make her mad. Any little thing she say to me, which it would make me mad. It was more her than anything. Because <laughs> she would walk around for weeks at a time oh being mad gosh. at me. You know what I'm saying? But that was something that she needed to work mm -hmm. in within herself. Yes. Yeah, she needed to go within. You know, let me tell you something. When, when, when you, need, when you uh, need to fix some things in your life, you got to go within you got to go within and, and see what's going on within inside yourself. It may be something that somebody done to you in the past that might be triggering you. And 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 she might have been releasing that on me. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Mm. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So you got to go within. And as you go within, you're going to, you're going to, you're going to, some things gonna open up. Yeah. Your whole mindset is gonna it's gonna change. It's gonna be like Damn. perspective. Yeah, your whole perspective gonna Wait, change. It's, gonna... It's, it's it's crazy when you sit back and think about it. But that's that's where we were. We were in the flesh. Mm -hmm. We were in the flesh. You need to do what I say do and, and you know and uh, if you ain't doing what I say do then you It's wrong. It's wrong. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and that's how we were before and we had a, a a young couple come over and they basically showed us who we were. Before we start walking and, 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 and 
walking with God, mm-hmm. walking in the kingdom. They basically showed us, <laughs> like, dang, we, was, was we that bad? Mm-hmm. You know, and, and we just basically told them it's, 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 it's so simple. It's so simple, but it, y'all making it so hard. All you got to do is get in, you know, get in God, sit, rest in God. And, and as you rest in God, the golden rule going to come up. The golden rule is do unto others as you would have them to do unto you. You're not going to say nothing wrong to me because you don't want me to say nothing wrong to you. Mm-hmm. And as y'all do that, as y'all continue to do that and, and, and love each other on a daily basis, y'all, you know, I love you, you love me, and, and we, we act loving towards each other. Man, the whole, the whole relationship going to change. Oh, and to go into that, yeah, it's crazy because when you fear God, mm. when you're doing everything unto God mm. and not to, even though I love you, I adore you, you are my husband. Mm-hmm. I look, I look at it as I'm doing it unto God. Yeah, like even when you make me mad, like we had this thing now that we picked up when we disagree or uh, it's, it's something crazy. We be like, well, praise the Lord, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Praise the Lord. Even when we mad or you know what I'm saying, instead of just. Um, taking that anger, balling up, and ang- you know, aiming it at the other person. Yeah. Well, praise the Lord. That's what you feel. And when when we say that to each other, we know. Okay, well, we having a disagreement. Well, let's cut it off. You know, yeah. ain't no point. It's, yeah, it's it's basically like you, you saying, you know, if I say praise the Lord, that means hey, let's just agree to disagree and let's move on. Move on. Let's move on. Yeah. Instead, instead of sitting there and in, in, in our funk. And, and you need to do this. You need no. Yeah. Praise the Lord. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And move on. Because how can you get mad? Like how, how can you, you just mad at somebody right? and say praise the Lord? What you like? What, what you trying to say? Praise the Lord. Like how can you? You, you, you can't. You can't. You can't and, and, you know, and our pastor taught, yeah. taught us that. He taught us that. He said. He said. You know. He, he at home and, and him and his wife get into it and, and they in a disagreement. He praise the Lord. Yeah. And, and just walk off. Praise the Lord. Because ain't no sister sitting there. We, we're in a disagreement. Yeah. You know, and, and, and even though. We're walking in the kingdom. We still don't have disagreement. Of course. It, it, you know, because we're two different people. Mm-hmm. We're raised up from two different upbringings, two different paradigms. Yeah. So we're going to have disagreements. And, yeah. and, and that's what I come to you to let you know that you may be in a place where you're still in the flesh. Mm-hmm. And, and, but as you come up out of that flesh, you're going <laughs> to, man, it's going to be, it's going to be different. It's going to be completely different. You know what I'm saying? Because all you want to do is please God. Yeah. And you won't do nothing to, towards your spouse or your significant other that's not going to be pleasing in the eyes of exactly, God. Exactly. Because yeah. you fear him. Yeah. You fear that, man, if I do this, I know, like, you know, yeah. that something's going to, you know, happen. So it's mostly like I fear God more than my, my you know, uh-huh. the world, basically. Yeah. Um, because I know that God set the world... Um, you know, it's an order, and he how he put principles in place. Mm-hmm. And if you, it doesn't matter who you are, if you believe in God, if you don't, if you follow these principles, you will get the same outcome. Exactly. Like it's the same, you will get the reward from those principles. You yeah. will get the promise of those principles. Mm-hmm. That's basically how it happened. Exactly. But um, walking in the kingdom for me, I just realized like I'm so happy now. Mm-hmm. Like I always say, I find the good in everything because God is good, so it got to be some good in every bad situation. Mm-hmm. Um, and I find myself more happy and at peace when anxiety come up or when things try to come up, it's like an instant. I'm like, Mm-mm, that's not what we're doing. It's like, it's, it don't take too long to, yeah. you know, snap back. <clears throat> and I look at everything as, well, since I'm out here, guys, since we are out here, I'm dependent on you. So whatever decision we make, or even if I don't know if that's the decision, I'm still going to make it and you're going to cover grace and mercy. It's like I'm actually living out your word. Mm -hmm. I am repeating your word to you. You know what I'm saying? And in order for you to do that, you have to know his word. You have to know what he says about you. You have to know the promises of God. Mm -hmm. You have to literally have that relationship with him. Now, when you start having that relationship, it's going to free you up, but it's going to also seclude you. Because when you um, when you in front of a whole lot of noise, you can't hear things. Or when you do hear things, you think it's yourself. You mm-hmm. think it's your own thinking, your own perspective. And it's God is telling you like, no, 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 this is what it is. And you also have to have um, emotional intelligence and spiritual intelligence to be like, okay, God revealed something to me. It's not for me to say that. It's just for me to know. Mm-hmm. It's not for me to reveal it to a person or to say, hey, this is what it is. You know, it's almost like the ego. Well, I think you, no, you lay down your ego. And when God says, speak, speak. When he say, I'm just revealing, I'm just giving you, you know, revelations for you, yourself. Mm-hmm. It's for a time, a point of time. You yeah. just got to do that. Yeah. You can't let, like, you can't drive, you can't let your ego and your emotions drive you. Yeah. 
You have to be emotionally intelligent walking in the kingdom. And let me say this too. Me and her on a daily basis, we 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 talking to each other about about revelations that we uh, have. I know, right? On, on the, on, Pretty much every day. Yeah. Either she telling me one or I'm telling her one. This is a revelation that I had. This is a revelation that I had. And as, I think as you keep doing that, as you know, because you, you got somebody walking with you in your spiritual walk. As you keep doing that, you get closer and closer to God. Mm -hmm. And you get closer and closer to the way God wants you to live your life. Mm -hmm. you know, the way he wants you to walk. Because let me say this too. If you're not helping somebody, if you're not helping, you're not doing what God called you to do. That's God's purpose, to uplift mankind in every sense of the word. Yeah. Okay? And, and you know, you might say, it, it, whether it be on a small scale or a large scale, it, it might just be her as a, as a, as a, as a stay-at-home mom uplifting me and the kids. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying? Well, it might be somebody who have millions of followers that's uplifting mankind in a certain way. You know, it, it's anywhere in between that. Well, anywhere in between serving. That. Yeah, but you're supposed to be serving, though. Everybody's supposed to serve. I don't care who it is. You're supposed to serve. And I'm not just talking about serving your employer. I'm not just talking about serving him. You're supposed to serve uh, uh, mankind. Mankind. And <laughs> serve. To, and it's crazy because you have to. It's crazy. We live in a world where you have to really go down to the needy degree because people take things out of context and they take it and run with it. Mm -hmm. When you serve, you have to serve the one who can't do nothing for you. Exactly. Who is the le the least? You know what I'm saying? It's like you have to humble yourself mm -hmm. to serve a person who can't do nothing for you. Exactly. Literally nothing. Mm -hmm. So that's yeah. what serving. It ain't just serving just for, oh, I'm going to serve you, then I can get this. Mm -hmm. No, that's not serving. Yeah. That's, that's a selfish heart. Yeah. You know, God looks at the heart, right? Yeah. But to serve is to know that I'm going to do whatever I have to do. Uh, for you and I don't I don't expect nothing from you mm -hmm. my gift and my my reward come from above it don't come from this world it doesn't come from human yeah. it comes from above and if that's peace love joy happiness and it's not material things listen mm -hmm. peace yeah. is the most underrated uh, fruit of the spirit mm -hmm. it's Listen, yeah. to have peace, man, and hell breaking off, you don't understand what's going on, but you at peace and knowing it's going to work out at the end. And let me say this, too. Blessing. I got a couple of young men that I mentor. Some of them might be watching this right now. Um, it just it just gives me chill bumps to for them to call me and say, well, I did this and I did that, and, 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 and thank you for helping me uh, do this. Or thank you for helping me do that. Man, that's 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 really it. That really, it really touches me in my mm -hmm. in my soul, in my heart, to know that I'm doing that. And I ain't, you know, one of them asked me, could he pay me? I'm like, no, bro, I can't. I can't let you pay me. I can't. Mm -hmm. I may start charging eventually. Yeah, when God say, hey, <laughs> when God say, hey, you know, you need to start charging. But I feel as though I'm not. Uh, I'm a lot further along than they are, but. I'm not in a place where I can say, well, hey, I need to charge for exactly, this. Yeah. I need to charge you for this. But just talking to them, and, and, and it, it gives me chill bumps. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? To know that I'm doing what God called me to do. You know, because I, I sat down and I asked God, hey, God, what you what, your will, let you, what your will is for my life? Mm -hmm. and, yo, and he said, he basically said to me, my will is for you to help young men and young boys. And that's what I've been doing lately. That's what I've been doing as I do that, you know, I, I need I need more of y'all to reach out to me. You know what I'm saying? Cause I, and I, me too. I need more of y'all to reach out to me because that's all I want to do. Yeah. That's all I want to do. And as I do that, I, I know God going to open up doors. He going to open up doors. And, and I might not be getting paid from you, but I'm getting paid from God. Ooh, that's all that saying. online business coming through. Yeah. All other and, business. Hey, my Listen. business taking off. You know what I'm saying? And I sit back and I say, well, why is it my business taking off? It, it ain't for me to question it ain't. it ain't for me to question that. It's for me to know that God is He doing what he said he was going to do because I'm doing what... What he asked you to do. Exactly. Exactly. Hey, guys. Hey. This, one, this, is, this is a conversation that we could... I think we should do a part two of, li of living a kingdom life. Because I think most people don't understand there's a difference between living in the kingdom and, and religion. And religion. It is, it's and, totally and, different. And see, the thing about it is, a lot of y'all don't know, we're non-denomination. Non-denomination means we don't have a religion. Mm -mm. We're we just, serve a God. We, we believe in the Bible. We believe in the Bible. We believe in Jesus Christ. 
and we just walking with God. We serving God. We doing what God called us to do. Yeah. So all that uh, Christianity, you know, Buddhism, whatever, <laughs> all that Muslim. You know, I, I, I can say I got a story about. I don't want to dig about, about being two. Muslim. About part two. two, no, yeah, we're we, gonna do part two. I'm gonna two. have to. Uh, I'm gonna have to stay with listen to what he's saying first, okay? <laughs> then we, if it's good, it'll yeah. make it to part two. Yeah. But guys, we're definitely gonna do a part two because I wish we had. This something like this to show the difference between religion, walking in religion, and walking in the kingdom, and what it truly means to walk in the kingdom. It's not all. It ain't all gravy. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you just gotta. It's, you just gotta do it without yeah. understanding why. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah. Please make sure you give us a thumb up, thumbs up, subscribe to our YouTube channel, um, follow us on social media. Mm -hmm. Yeah. TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook. Yes, guys, we put out some great content. This, if you like this video and stuff like this for personal development, mm -hmm. go ahead and subscribe. We are committed to it, yeah. no matter what. Yeah. So yeah, Poppy. Yeah, I don't care. If we don't receive a dime from it. We gonna keep doing it. Yeah. We gonna keep doing it because we know what God calls. Anyway, God is good. You already know what I'm saying. God is good. Yes. Life is good. You walk in the kingdom. You walk in the kingdom. Life is good and God. Hey. <laughs> As I, as I sit back and I think about that, man, look here. God is good. Life is good. When we look good, we feel good. We live in a life of abundance. Peace. Bye, guys.